name is Arlette Milstead, and I go to Council Bluffs Abraham Lincoln. Four, four, seven years ago! And the title of my piece is Society vs. Child of God. What does it mean to be a child of God? I mean, we do go to church Sunday mornings, sitting in the pews, holding hands out for our Savior, biting on our tongues, trying not to fall asleep during the sermon. And of course, we are baptized as babies. Isn't that all there is to it? Society is like a slow but aggressive hit to the face. To sum it up, society is screwed up. They only tell us how to act to the public. They're basically a group of do as I say, not as I do parents. They always tell us, act like a lady on the outside, not a whore. It's a sin otherwise. They don't really care what we do privately, private to the public anyways. They don't know that on the inside, we're all partying and forgetting everything our parents taught us. We assume we're supposed to act with poise and respect, but we do that, right? Unless we're partying with who? Boys? It's Saturday night and we've got our tight red dresses on, our full faces of makeup. We don't bother bringing condoms. We think we're going to stay holy. But if we don't, it doesn't really matter if we have sex before we're married. It's just one small little thing. No one's going to find out, right? Sunday morning comes and we go back to the world society thinks we live in with our skirts just below our knees and plain Mary Jane's. Oh wait, our collarbones are showing. We better button our off-white polos all the way up. Next thing you know, it's Monday and we wait a whole week to learn exactly what, everything except what we actually need. Society just focuses on telling us to get straight A's. Do they ever teach us lessons we need for life, like what's morally right and morally wrong? What if we face a life-threatening situation? What if we get jumped? What if we get robbed? Are we supposed to just take in the facts and ignore the risks? Let's just go to the mall to get our mind off things. Here we are. We've left our wallet at home. But we're already at the mall too late to turn back. Just this one time it can't hurt. We're just stealing one little shirt. And maybe a few others. But life goes on, right? God damn it, our parents found out. Oops. Do we just say, God, damn it? Oh well, everyone else says it. Now I'm confined to my room, stuck with nothing but a small bowl of pride, and of course my creative imagination. At least that's what my parents call it. Another day at school, or some of us say, a symbolic chain of hell, we might as well say we're cuffed. Because what do we even have control of? Our thoughts, they're slipping out of our hands, and we can't help it. We were never taught how to keep it together. Here comes another thought. If only I could take it back. Think that new boy, Chet? It's pretty cute. But wait, don't you have a boyfriend already? Lusting over women or men while you're in another relationship isn't bad. It's just human nature. At least that's what we thought was right. Would you still call us children of God? Our mamas did not raise us like that, but society sure did. Woo!